This video is for the beginning band trombones. Today, I am going to be going through all of the songs that we're going to be doing for our concert coming up in, um, at the end of March. We have eight songs that we're gonna go through. Here's my little list and I sent this to all of your family so you can print this out as well. Uh, as well. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of a review before every single song and then I'm going to play through that song. So when we review, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the note names and the rhythms and the side positions for all the notes that we have in each song, and then I'm gonna play through it. Now you will see in the comments section that I have timestamps for all of the songs, and timestamps are little, I think they look like little blue numbers for you next to the titles of every song that we have. If you click on those little blue numbers, what it does is it brings you to a certain part in the video um, so that you don't have to watch all of it. Maybe you just want to do the playthroughs. I'll have timestamps of those playthroughs and you can just click on the playthroughs and play along with me. So you're welcome to use this video however you want. You don't have to watch it all at the same time. Um, you can do maybe a couple songs a day or um, do the playthroughs only or just the reviews. You can pause it and, and go back whenever you need to. So the first song that we're going to do here is going to be song number one, Time for Band. <clears throat> In song number one, I can see that the first note that we have learned is going to be D. That D is going to be in fourth position. Let's see if I can find a good way to show you where that bracing is going to be aligned with the bell. The start of the slide is aligned with the bell there. And also in that music, that D is always going to live on that fourth line of our songs. So whenever you see on with those five little black lines, a uh, note on that fourth line, that will always be a D. Another thing that I see about this song is it has us using whole notes and whole rests. The first note that we have is just a little circle. That is a whole note that lets us know that we're going to hold that D out for four full beats. And then in the second measure, you see a little box. Now that box is on that fourth line and it's facing down. That lets me know that that is a whole rest and we're gonna hold that out for four full beats. <clears throat> so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and review and say the note names and do the slide positions for all of song number one, Time for Band, and we are on page six, by the way. So go ahead and bring the instrument up to your face like you were playing. However, we're not actually going to put it on our mouse. We're just going to say the note names and do the slide positions in rhythm. Here we go. One, two, say the note names, go. D, two, three, four, rest. Two, three, four, D, two, three, four, rest, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, rest, two, last time, here we go, D, two, three, four, rest, two, three, four. Let's go ahead and play through this song now. Here is our playthrough for Time for Band. It would be a good idea if you could try to practice tapping your foot or counting inside your head so that we're sure that every note is getting the appropriate amount of beats. One, <clears throat> two, three. Rest, two, three. As you do these playthroughs, make sure that you are not puffing out your cheeks as you play. That's something that's very easy to do when we play the trombone. And we don't want to do that. We want to make sure that those corners are firm and our cheeks are not puffed out. <clears throat> as we look down the page, you will see in song number two, we are learning that new note. That new note is going to be a C. It's going to be out in sixth position with our arm out as far as we can make it. And its new position on the staff is going to be on that second space. So we have those five black lines. We have the first space, 
Second space, that's where the C lives. Whenever you see a note on that second space, that will always be a C, and it will always be in sixth position. If we look at song number four, four score, another new note that we're learning is B flat. That B flat lives on the second line of those five black lines, that second one up. And it also has that little flat sign in front of it, that little tiny B that lets us know that that is going to be a B flat. B flats are easy. They're in first position. They're with the slide all the way up. So the next song that we're going to do for the concert is going to be song number five, Mix Them Up. We are mixing up all three of those notes that we have learned. I can see that we're starting with a D and we're still following that pattern of play four, rest four. Let's go through those note names now. So find your position for D. One, two, note names go. D, two, three, four, rest. Two, switch positions, go. C, two, three, four, rest. Two, three, four, B flat, two, three, four, rest, two, back to C, go, C, two, three, four, rest, two, the song is done. So we have to do a lot of quick slide positions when we're going from C to first position. Use that entire rest that you have to help yourself find that new slide position so you're ready to go when that note comes. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and do our playthrough now of song number five, Mix Em Up. Find your first slide position, find your first note. Here we go, one, two, three. <sighs> to be doing is going to be song number eight, A Breath of Fresh Air. The biggest different about, difference about this song is that we are no longer doing the play for, rest for, play for, rest for. Instead, we are doing this pattern. Play for, breathe, play for, rest for. You can see that because we have two whole notes right next to each other for the first two measures of song number eight. And then we have a whole rest where we will rest for those four full beats. One other extremely important sign that you need to pay attention to is going to be that breath mark. The breath mark is that tiny little apostrophe that you see that's separating the first and second measure. And it repeats throughout the rest of the song that tells us that we need to breathe there. So let's go ahead and find our slide positions. For song number eight, <clears throat> we are starting with a D. So I have my slide position in four. And let's go ahead and say those note names together. Two, note names, go. D, two, three, four. Breathe, D, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, down to C. C, two, three, four. Breathe, C, two, three, four. Rest, two, three, four. B flat, two, three, four. Breathe, B flat, two, three, four. Okay, let's go ahead and play through song number eight, A Breath of Fresh Air. One, two, three. <sighs> And 
that's the end of the song. Let's look at song number 11, Half the Price. In song number 11, the book is introducing half notes to us for the very first time. Half notes look like whole notes where it's just that circle, except for now we are adding a stem to it. So it kind of looks like a broken lollipop. Our book tells us that every time that we have a note that looks like that, it is a half note. And half notes are going to be worth two beats. No longer are they four, they are now two beats. So you can see in the first song, in number 11, the first couple notes in number 11, is we have three half notes in a row. Now look at the second half of the second measure of number 11. We have another box, except for that box isn't on the fourth line facing down like it is for whole rests. Now it's on the third line facing up. That lets us know that that is a half rest and we are going to hold that out for two full beats. Let's go ahead and go through our note names in rhythm for number 11. One, two, ready, go. D, two, D, two, D, two, rest, rest. C, two, C, two, C, two, rest, rest, B flat, two, B flat, two, B flat, two, rest, rest, C, two, rest, here comes a whole note, B flat, two, three, four, it throws a whole note in there right at the end to confuse us. All right, let's go ahead and do our playthrough for number 11. One really important thing for number 11 is that we have to use articulations. We have to use that T or TA where our tongue goes to the roof of our mouth to separate each note, separate that air with our, with our instrument, not breathing in between every note, but just separating that air with our tongue. Here we go, number 11, half the price. One, two, three. <laughs> to song number 16, Hot Cross Buns. And just a reminder that if at any time you have to go back and practice the song again, you're welcome to pause the video, go back, skip ahead, use this however you want. It's your practice guide. All right, song number 16, Hot Cross Buns. First time the book is introducing quarter notes to us. Quarter notes look like half notes, except for the note head is colored in. And each quarter note gets one full beat. So just one beat. Ta, 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 that would, that would be what it sounds like if we had four quarter notes in a row, which we do in hot cross buns. Let's go ahead and say our note names and do our slide positions for number 16, hot cross buns. One, two, three, note names go. D, two, C, two, B flat, two, three, four, D, two, C, two, B flat, two, rest, rest, B flat, B flat, B flat, B flat, C, 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 D, C, B flat, two, three, Four. When we do our playthrough, we'll go ahead and add in those breath marks. Another thing to remember is to have quick slide positions so that you don't get a whop sound in between every single note when you have to switch. All right, here's our playthrough for hot cross buns, number 16. One, two, three. <sighs>
going to do is going to be number 17, Au Claire de la Lune. Has us using those same notes, nothing's too different about here, just a different pattern of the rhythms. And let's go ahead and say those note names. We're actually starting with B flat this time. Saying the note names for Au Claire de la Lune. Two, ready, go. B flat, B flat, B flat, C, D, C, B flat, D, C, C, B flat, two, three, B flat, B flat, B flat, C, D, C, B flat, D, C, C, B flat, two, three, four. I apologize in the second to last measure, instead of going to D, I went down to C. That was just my bit, but I still said the right note names. So you should have been able to follow along with that as well. All right, let's go ahead and play through number 17, Au Claire de la Lune, starting in first position. One, two, three. is number 23, Merrily We Roll Along. However, we have a couple new notes that we need to cover before we move on to that one. If you look at number 19, Easy Street, it is introducing the note name E flat. E flat is one note above D, which is going to be on that one, two, three, that third space in between those black lines. It also has a little tiny B next to it, that flat sign, just like the B flats do. Third position, since it's just one note above D, is going to be just a little bit higher than D. It's going to be officially with this bracing here, this bar separating in line with our bell. This bar in line with our bell. I'll show you, here's fourth position, here's third position. Here's fourth, here's third. Every time you see a note on that third space, it will be an E flat. Look at number 21, now we have an F. An F is going to be in first position, just like B flat, except for it's going to be a little bit higher. It's going to be the highest note that we know. And an F is going to be on that fourth line. It is going to live on that fourth line. So anytime that you see a note on that fourth line, it will always be an F. And it doesn't matter if it's a whole note, quarter note, half note, whatever it is, whatever, um, whenever you have one of those rhythm notes on that fourth line, it tells you that it's an F. The rhythm notes just tell you how long we have to hold those notes out for. So let's look at number 23, Merrily We Roll Along on page nine. I see that we're starting with Ds, which is nice. We don't have any E flats, but we do have a couple Fs, so we will have to look out for those. Let's say our note names and do the slide positions. One, two, ready, go. D, C, B flat, C, D, 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 breathe. C, 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 D, F, F, rest. D, C, B flat. C, D, 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 C, C, D, C, B flat, rest, rest. This song ends 
with double bar lines, just like the rest of our songs do, where it has those two line, those two bars right at the end of the song, except for our two bars this time have two dots next to them, right to the left of them. That lets us know that that is what is called a repeat sign. And a repeat sign tells us to go back and do the whole song over one more time. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. Here we go. Two, ready, go. D, C, B flat, C, D, 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 C, 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 D, F, F, this isn't his F's, D, C, B flat, C, D, 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 C, C, D, C, B flat. Two, we're done. So now we are going to do the playthrough of Merrily We Roll Along. We are going to take the repeat sign. So we are going to go through it once, go back and do it one more time. Repeats have us do everything a total of two times. One, <clears throat> two, three. <sighs> is going to be song number 26, Good King Wenceslas. Now, some of you are getting to this one for the very first time. You can see that we're not learning any new note names in this one, which is nice, just a new melody, some new rhythms. However, we are using so the new note that we learned in song number 19 a lot. You can see that we start with those E flats. So those E flats, remember, are going to be in third position. Here's fourth, here's third, third's higher. So let's go ahead and go through those note names and do the side positions for number 26, Good King Wenceslas. Two, ready, go. E flat, E flat, E flat, F, E flat, E flat, B flat, also in first position, C, B flat, C, D, E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat, F, E flat, E flat, B flat, C, B flat, C, D, E flat, E flat. A lot of switching between C and B flat in the song. And also, we have to go F and B flat in the same note, in the same um, the same slide position, I mean. All right, so let's go ahead and do our playthrough of number 26, Good King Wenceslas. One, two, three. <laughs>
repeat sign at the end of it. So we do not need to go back and do it again. All right, guys, that is all the songs that we are going to be doing for the concert. So that is all that I'm going to be doing with our video today. Again, you are welcome to use this however you want. Go back and study different songs. Um, use it as a review. Use it as a practice guide. Um, get some practicing in for those practice records. You can watch this video and that can count as practicing too. All right, guys, thank you so much. Goodbye.